Hello Earthlings, I'm Adam the Alien, you are watching Adam the Alien, and it is time once again for the annual Project for Awesome. If you don't know what the Project for Awesome is, here's a quick summary. Every year, YouTubers from all walks of life come together to try to take over YouTube with videos about charities and just things that matter. The idea is to replace global levels of world suck with awesome. Now in recent years I have tried to vary my topics and my charities, but inevitably I always feel that I at least need to touch on one topic. And this year, I feel it's time to focus on that again. For years, I have made fighting suicide my cause. It's something that is very close to me. But in the past, I've always dealt with it from the perspective of having been to that place myself, having nearly gone down that path myself. And while I've had many friends come close to taking their life, and while I came very, very close myself, this is the first year that I can talk about it from the other side. On July 7th of this year, my friend Ari took her life. Suicide is an issue that no one really wants to talk about. It's uncomfortable, it's painful, and no one likes to think about the idea that someone they love may be willing to do that. But it's an issue that has to be talked about, and it's an issue that needs to be covered from two sides. First, I'm going to address anyone who is considering taking their life. But bear with me, because then I'm going to address the people who have lost someone in this manner. To anyone considering giving up for any reason. I know you are sick of hearing about how life gets better, and I know how hard it is to go on. I struggle with this every day. I reached my breaking point in June of 2003. I can distinctly remember the point when I finally crossed the line and went, you know what? Giving up. Giving up would be a relief. There are a lot of things that may be going through your head. You may be thinking that you're beyond hope. You may be thinking that no one cares about you. You may even be thinking vengefully, hoping that, you know, you'll, you'll show someone by taking your life. But odds are, no matter what you're thinking, the source is a very deep pain. The pain may have a cause, or one of the worst sensations is feeling that pain and that need to give up and not even having a cause. Whatever the reasons, it seems like it's easier and better to just give up. But while you're overwhelmed with that sensation of worthlessness or helplessness or depression or whatever you think you are feeling, you are being blinded to a million amazing things. Your life is more valuable than you know. And as I discovered, years after I nearly ended my own life, there are more people out there who care about you and who are impacted by your life than you can even realize. What's more, the years since I nearly ended everything have been the best years of my life. I'm not going to say that there's not going to be pain. And I'm not going to say that you're not still going to struggle with these feelings. When things get hardest, when things get to their worst, I still fight that urge to just give up. It doesn't go away. But in between those moments, in between those moments, that's where the magic is. It sounds cheesy, it sounds corny, but there are so many amazing things in between those moments. And that is what makes those moments worth bearing, worth fighting. Life is made of high points and low points, and they define each other. And that pain you're feeling, let me tell you, it makes the good times so much better. Feeling that pain will give you an appreciation of the good moments that other people cannot comprehend. I'm not saying it's a blessing, but if you push through it, it is worth it. I think about all of the moments that I could have missed, and all of the people that would have been hurt, or would never have known me, and never have been impacted by me in ways that I have been able to see just in the last few years. There's magic in between the pain, and most importantly, you are not alone. There are people out there feeling the same things you are. There are people out there who are willing to help. I'm one of them. You do not have to cope with these feelings alone. Find a friend, find a family member. If you can't find anyone, send me a message. But talk to someone. 
I'll put links in the video description of services you can call or go to for help. But you must ask for it. Because as obvious as your pain seems to you, the worst pains we feel, we keep deep down inside of ourselves. And unless you speak up, people who may love you dearly cannot know. And to those of you who have already lost someone to suicide, that is a message for you as well. You can be the most observant, the most caring, the most loving friend or family member in the world. But that doesn't mean you will see the signs. I talked with my friend Ari a number of times about our mutual experiences with depression and suicidal tendencies. We talked about them, however, in the past tense. And Ari was full of life. So full of life, you would never have seen it coming. I only knew her for about a year. And in that time, I know I didn't see her during her hardest moments. And even having been to that place myself, even constantly being in that place myself, I still felt like I should have done more, even though I know better, even though I know how easy it is to hide what feels like the most obvious pain so deep down that no one outside can see it, I blamed myself. It's not easy to lose someone that way. You feel sad, but at the same time, you feel betrayed and angry that someone would leave you that way. And then you feel guilty because you feel angry at a person who's gone. But those feelings are natural. Do not feel guilty about them. Hard as it is to say, suicide is a very selfish act. When I nearly killed myself, I wasn't thinking about other people. I was thinking about myself. I was thinking about the pain I felt, and I came up with every excuse possible about how this wouldn't hurt anyone. Not my little sister, not my mother, not my friends. I came up with every excuse why it would be better for them. For those of you who are thinking those thoughts, you are lying to yourself. It will not be better for anyone. It is one of the greatest pains for someone to choose to leave your life. And for those of you who have been left, they didn't mean to cause you that pain. And the best thing you could have done, you were probably already doing. Because the best thing anyone can do is to be a friend to the best of their abilities, to care and to love to the very best of their abilities. This doesn't mean you won't still lose people. And honestly, it's going to hurt a lot more if you do that. But in the measure of a person's life, there are good moments and there are bad moments. And the most you can hope to do for another person is to fill them with as many good moments as possible. It may not be enough to balance out the pain. My friend Ari's life was full of beautiful moments. And what's more, she brought such incredible vibrancy and amazing things to other people's lives. She was one of those people who you step into a room and it instantly just comes to life. And in losing her, I and everyone that I have known who knew her have been, we've been blaming ourselves. What if I'd called her more? What if I'd gone to see her, what if, what if, what if, what if I'd done this, what if I'd done that. None of that what if amounts to anything. If you notice the signs, great. If you notice the signs, do everything you can. And if someone you know chooses to take their own life, don't think you didn't do enough. Because you did. You did everything you could. The choice is ultimately in their hands. And to those of you who feel that gnawing urge to just give up and embrace oblivion. You need to understand how much you matter. You need to understand how much the people you love and the, the whole freaking world loses when you choose to leave us. And you need to understand how much you will be missing because I promise you, there is something out there that is worth fighting for. You are worth fighting for. You have friends that you probably aren't even aware of. You have people whose lives you impact every day, and you have such amazing moments of joy in your future. It doesn't matter what religion you are or what beliefs in the afterlife you have. What we've got here in this life, whether there is or isn't anything beyond, what we've got here is something spectacular. Don't give it up without a fight. And don't think 
that you need to fight alone. Life can be hard and it can wear you down, but you are never, ever alone. You may think you are, but you are not. In the video description, there are several charities that deal with suicide and depression and bullying and all kinds of things that lead people to feel like giving up is the only option. Please take the time to look at them. Whether you are contemplating suicide yourself, whether you know someone who has killed themselves, or whether you think someone may be about to do so. There is also a link to a memorial fund started in my friend Arya's name. The memorial fund goes to programs surrounding music that hopefully will bring some of those good moments to people's lives. Again, if you're thinking about killing yourself, please ask for help. And if you know someone who has chosen to end their life, please know it is not your fault. I say all these things not as any kind of professional or expert, but as someone who has been on both sides of this issue. To that end, again, reminding you that I am not any kind of professional expert, if you are impacted by this issue in any manner, if you are impacted by the death of a loved one through suicide, or if you are considering it yourself, if you need someone to talk to, send me a message. My YouTube inbox is open to all, and I do check it. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Very well.